Hey everybody, it's John Schwabus from PolicyViz. I've got a quick little tutorial for you. I'm gonna call it either clean breaks in an area chart in Excel or small multiple area charts. It sort of depends on how you wanna think about it. And I'm gonna build off of this tutorial in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and check it out. But basically what we're gonna do is we are going to create a chart like this on the right, this area chart on the right where you've got these nice clean breaks here. So you can sort of think of this as small multiple area charts, right? Here's one big area uh, area chart, which doesn't really work because it looks like it's one big series when actually I have three separate countries here. So real quick, I've got uh, countries on the number of people in certain uh, thresholds for, uh, of, of poverty, which I pulled from our world and data. You can see I've got country here in the first column, the code and the year, these all go from uh, 1981 to 2019. I've got the number here and I'm just gonna convert these to percentages. So I just do that over here and then I'm gonna bring the data over to the last uh, sheet. I'm just gonna do the first three countries here, uh, Albania, uh, Algeria and Angola. Okay, so let's go over to a clean sheet so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so let's say you want to create uh, these clean breaks to either break your area chart up, just you know, however you'd like to do it, or you would like to uh, maybe create sort of a small multiples approach. So if you take the raw data, the way I have it set up here, and create that area chart, I'm gonna make this bigger so you can say it. I'll just click over here and make that big. You can see that there are no breaks in the data, right? Like that, it just looks like one big series, which doesn't make any sense. So now what we can do is we could break this up by just adding a space, just adding a spacer row here. Uh, you can see I have two of them between these three countries. So I'm gonna select all of my data. I'm gonna come back to this zero series here in just a second. I've got this all the way on my left part of my screen. So I'm gonna, I'll come back to this in just a second, okay? But, um, but this is the key, the zero series is the key. I go back to the line chart, I add a stacked area chart, and I'll make this bigger again so you can see it. Again, if you've seen before, I like to do it with the number. All right, and now I've got my chart. And so you can see I've got a break, but what happens here? Let's just let's just select this series here. You see it sort of goes down, do, 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 do. And then with the break, it, uh, Excel just takes it as zero. And so for the area chart, it just all these series sort of drop down to zero and then they pick back up, but you get this weird little V-shaped pattern in here. So what we can do is we can use this zero series, add it to a secondary axis and then change the color. So now right now it's hard to grab that zero series. And what you can do is always use your format tab and go over here. You can see it's over here and I can grab it that way and then I could format it. But I just wanna show if that's like not working for you, just change this, just make it a hundred, make it a hundred a few times, whatever, just kind of cutting and you know, just pasting. So now I can really select it easily. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this series, the zero series, which I have highlighted here, I'm gonna move this zero series to the secondary axis. And I get this weird looking thing. So what happens is, it's basically the way the secondary axis works here is basically going from the top to the bottom, it's sort of flipped upside down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the fill to white and I'll get rid of the hundreds from before because I really just want the zero. And now I've got these bars that are basically stretching off from infinity, right, all the way down to zero here at the, at the bottom. So you have to think of it sort of flipped upside down. And now this is basically done. I'm gonna change this axis. I'm gonna make it 100 because these are percentages. I'll make that 100. Uh, you know, I could change the decimals. I don't actually need this. So I could delete them. I don't love deleting them just in case it sort of breaks the chart. I can just hide them instead. And now my chart is done. And as you can see, I essentially have a small multiples area chart, one for each of these three countries. I could of course do this separately with separate area charts for each one. It's kind of a hassle to line those up and imagine them. But now I could just do it this way and I'm good to go. So it's that clean break right there. It's just a stacked area chart. You take your zero series, your filler series, whatever you wanna call it, put it to the secondary axis, change the colors, and you are good to go. So come back to the next video that'll be up in a few days. I'm gonna take this to the next level and uh, add a lot more data to this particular chart type um, in a particular layout. So come back to that video, subscribe to this channel, and learn more about how to communicate your data.